family and marriage. In my own area, I'm dealing with a case of a father who has forced two of his daughters into serial mar marriages in return for money. Uh, the father marries the girls, forces them to divorce, and then remarry. And the youngest of these daughters, two of them had all been the, gone through these so-called you know, marriages for several times when the youngest girl came to me and you know, I'm trying to assist the, the, the entire family. Uh, and at least she, she was saved from being prostituted through marriage. Uh, again, uh, the issue of domestic labor, another lost girl, again a very recent case. She was trafficked by uh, her own uh, parents, sold into slavery, and she, they landed up in a judge's house, and the judge's wife then ended, uh, tortured her, and she was discovered by the courts. That case is still being heard by the Chief Justice of Pakistan. So these are all uh, interrelated, and these uh, uh, issues are just, um, you know, I, I'm just trying to draw in all the connections that, that uh, as I said, the social, cultural, and economic relations that mediate trafficking, and how do we address them? Do we address them singly? Do we address them uh, uh, generally? Now, coming to legislation, Pakistan has, um, uh, you know, has signed on all the international uh, conventions and protocols on child labor, on human rights, and uh, of course, the rights of the child. Uh, Pakistani law, the constitution, it uh, provides for social. Uh, for, for promotion of social justice and eradication of social evils in Article 37, stating that it shall prevent prostitution, gambling, and taking of injurious drugs, printing, publication, circulation, and display of obscene literature and advertisements. Similarly, in Article 11, it prohibits slavery and forced labor. And a number of laws have been instituted. There is no comprehensive law on uh, prostitution itself, uh, but it is covered under the Zina Ordinance. This is something that General Ziaul Haq did. Uh, but now, uh, uh, in, the, in 2006, many of the provisions of prostitution uh, or criminalizing prostitutions of persons has come under a protection of uh, women law. And here, uh, the selling uh, or buying of sex is criminalized. And it's a very stringent punishment. It's about 25 uh, years. Um, then there is another law which is quoted uh, and looked at internationally, uh, oft quoted, that's called the Prevention and Control of Human Trafficking Ordinance, which was passed in 2002. Uh, again, this is something that where trafficking and, you know, the, there's a standard uh, definition of trafficking. Uh, the punishment ranges from 7 to 14 years. Uh, the, um, uh, then there is a law on abolition of bonded labor. Uh, there are child marriage, prohibition of child marriage laws. I won't go into that. And then there is, recently, there's a plethora of child protection laws. And it's easy to see why we have chosen the route of child protection. A lot of this covers prostitution uh, uh, and, and uh, you know, um, uh, uh, bonded labor and a lot of these. Uh, why we choose child protection laws is because um, it's probably a conceptual form that our contests between religion and rights are most easily reconciled. This is uh, something that all provinces have done. Uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, and, and again, it, it provides for institutional forms through which children can be protected. It allows for setting up of child protection units, uh, child commissions, and so on. Um, now, finally, just to conclude, I'll talk about what the problems with these all these multiple laws are, um, and then I will uh, uh, take my place. Um, for a clear legal framework to emerge, there are a number of issues that need to be addressed. Uh, the biggest problem with Pakistani law is a very basic one. What is the age that defines a child? We have not really sorted it out. In every law, the age is different. In every province, the age is different. In my province, in Sindh, the age for uh, the marriageable age at which the uh, 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 a person becomes an adult and can marry is 18, both for girls and boys. So my uh, uh, province is a step ahead of others. But the Pakistani law has, uh, discriminates. There is a separate age for girls, which is 16, and a separate age for boys, which is 18. But for bonded labor, for issues of labor, child labor, for issues of criminal liability, the ages are 14 for children. For children. So there are a lot of different ages that we have to deal with. And all this, of course, makes uh, ch children uh, vulnerable. Um, uh, we recently wanted to come up in the Pakistani parliament on making this uniform. So bringing 18 